All right, this I think is going to be the last in this pseudo series of ranking Power Rangers. Here, we've got all extra and sixth Rangers. Anything that could kind of be called a Ranger, an extra Ranger, sixth Ranger, they're all here. Um, I've done every color. This should just finish it off with ones that maybe didn't fit into the typical red, green, blue categories of Rangers. Let's just get started with the first. Tommy Oliver, specifically as the Green Ranger. Green with Evil Arc is still one of the best arcs in all of Power Rangers. Tommy's suit and Zord being some of the best designs in Power Rangers. It's well known. He's S. But is Tommy as a White Ranger also S? This is probably the extra Ranger that has the most episodes. I'd imagine two seasons worth. Um, this might also be the only one that's the leader of the team directly. I mean, we got like Kruger over here who's like the mentor, but like the leader of the team when they're out there. My dog is moving around like crazy. Dude, relax, buddy. But <sighs> I'm still going to put it S. You know what? It's still Tommy. Um, if if comparing it just to green is the basis for being S or not, nothing else would be S, probably. Um, but I'm, I'm going to put him S. White, White Ranger, still a good suit, still a really great sword. Leader of the team, probably the most episodes here from anybody. Um, yeah, and then we get the original leader of the team back with the team, Gold Ranger Jason. <sighs> this, is, this is an interesting one. Because it's like you have history built up with him outside of what this what he is as this ranger, which is gonna play in a play a role when it comes to Tommy versus Jason. I was a team Jason, probably still am. Is he S? Gosh, I should have prefaced this. Extra rangers and six rangers. It's gonna be easy for them to be high up on a tier list because they get like. Of like dedicated story time, unlike maybe some other Rangers do, like introducing them, having them join the team, it get they get more focused than maybe some other, you know, fourth and fifth on the team Rangers do. But is is Jason S? God, I'd feel weird putting him as low as he's going is A. If White Ranger Tommy is A, I'm gonna put Gold Ranger Jason. S. Phantom Ranger. The biggest mystery in Power Rangers. Who is this? I think the comics are exploring that, so it's less of a mystery. Um, I think, I mean, I'm going to put him A. Um, limited time, I would say. So, so maybe not put him quite S. We, don't, we didn't know who he was. We didn't get this attachment to who it was directly. But just the mystique of it all, I think I'm going to put him A. Zane. Went on a date with the season's villain. I mean, that's a boss move. Gotta put him A. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him A in one of the best seasons in Power Rangers. Um, his friendship with Andros. Gonna put him A. Now, Magnum Defender. This is probably the only one here who you probably wouldn't consider a Ranger. He probably doesn't count, but I'm gonna leave him. I'm leaving him in. Uh, Mike is the host, I think is how this works. Magnet Defender losing their child, one of the saddest origins in Power Rangers. Um, but, and then he sacrifices himself. I'll put him B for now, but I might move him around. Ryan Mitchell, first American exclusive Power Ranger, evil ranger for a little bit, given up by his father to protect himself and his, his daughter. Um, Honestly, I'm going to, Put him A. I think we're going to have a lot of really high guys on this list. But um, the only thing holding him back, because I like his storyline and um, the the tattoo on his back slowly working his way up him as he morphs is a really great idea. But just the limited footage, because, you know, since he wasn't in the Sentai, they don't have much with him. Holds him back. I'm going to put him A. Eric Myers. Can't remember if I also had him in the Red Ranger one. 
He might have been held back in the Red Ranger list if he was, but on extra and six Rangers, he's going to be an S. Um, just an absolute, like, true sense of the word in terms of being an alpha, butting heads with Wes, but, you know, having that friendship with him at the same time. Um, his T-Rex Zord, one of the best. I mean, we're going to see a lot of great Zords with these guys as well. Going to put him S. Merrick. Going to be honest, guys, this is one that's really, I'm really blanking on. I really don't have too many memories of Merrick. Um, so that's going to hold him back a little bit. I'm just going to put him C. Um, I'm trying to remember what the deal was. I, I'm really blanking. I want to say he was like an orc or maybe was cursed into being an orc and then was, you know, was able to go good. I can't remember, man. I'm blanking totally. I could be confusing his storyline with someone else's, but I'm going to put him C. All right, Blake, Bradley, relationship with Tori, tricked by the villains to think that the the, uh, the Ninja Storm Rangers are evil. Eventually, you know, they get on the same page, join the side. I might put, I'm, and this goes for both of them, pretty much. I mean, I view them as the same. I think I'm going to put them both in B. Nice addition to the show. Doesn't add too much. Remember the one good episode of, like, um, Hunter and, and, and uh, Shane kind of bumping heads a little bit, both being Red Rangers. Then we move into Cam. I mean, the most do-it-all ranger carries this team on his back in terms of actual con contributions to the team, being the tech wizard, making you know all of their powers and their zords, going back in time to retrieve the samurai, a little amulet to make him a samurai ranger. Going to put a mess. Tommy Oliver as a black ranger. Now, this is, okay, this is going to be interesting, because I'm going to put him A, but this is actually my favorite version of Tommy. This is the version I know of Tommy. This is the first one I had seen. Dot of Thunder, I think, was the first season of Power Rangers I ever saw. So, this is this is how I usually think of Tommy. But, um, some weird stuff. Um, when he's in his suit for those however many episodes was kind of interesting. Um, I'm just going to put him A, just because of... I mean, less less time, and then in that suit is just kind of wonky to me. Um, but then the true successor to Green Ranger Tommy isn't Black Ranger Tommy. It's White Ranger in terms of Trent with his evil Ranger storyline um, being a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, mirroring his father, his relationship with Kira. Um, mirroring a villain is usually going to help me like a Ranger a lot. It's why I love Casey. Um, with Jared in Jungle Fury so much, but uh, I'm gonna put Trent S. I mean, one of the best suits, great arc in terms of you know the White Ranger, him being cloned. Then, um, honestly, an S. Now, Doggy Kruger as a mentor is S. As the Shadow Ranger, he doesn't come out to play too often. So I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna, I don't want it to be. I'm gonna put him A because of that. Um, because I'm ranking Rangers here, and as a Ranger, he's held back a little bit, but because of how great of a mentor he is, I would feel weird putting him any lower than A. Uh, but then the Omega Ranger, Sam, I think his name is. This was a weird one. He's from the future. We only really see him as a ball of light. When he demorphs, he was, um, him and Z, when Z, when, uh, when Sam was a kid, we see him meet Z and get put on the right path to becoming the Omega Ranger, but it's the weird ball of light thing. There's no actual connection with anybody behind this mask. I might put him D. It's just a really weird thing. And then Cat. I think Cat was a Ranger in like one episode. I don't think it was a dream sequence. I know Boom had the dream sequence, but I, I, I think she actually genuinely suits up. I'm going to put her C because um, she only suits up one time. But her character overall is their their tech wizard, you know, helps me, you know, keep her afloat here. I'm going to put her C. Udana. Morphs in the first episode. This is probably the only extra ranger here who has, like, their powers before the core team. Udana, mother to Nick, that we find out near the end of the show. But it's just, her wand is taken. She can't do much for a while. I'm going to put her C as well um a little underwhelming Daggeron um he kind of comes in and plays a mentor figure as well to the Rangers um 
his train Zord is a really nice one that I want to get my hands on the toy of, but I'm just gonna put him B. I think I think him and I think this is the same actor. Um, that plays Doggy, but um, I think it's a lesser role. I'm gonna put him B. Liam Bo, I'll put him D. I just feel like I probably I wanted to have as much you know anyone that you could count as an extra ranger here. I think Liam Bo probably technically counts. He morphs once or twice near the end of the show after becoming freed from whatever was going on with him. Stopped being Korag. Is Nick's father. Um, but yeah, just comes in very late to the story in terms of being a ranger. So I'm going to put him D. And then Tizon, I think is how you say it. Whole world, his whole home planet got fucked. Um... Operation Overdrive is a bad season. I don't want to hang that on his head too much. I remember thinking he was interesting. I don't know if he was necessarily good. Let's put him... Let's put him B. We'll put him B. RJ. Um, I know I said I wouldn't let the mentor thing factor in too much, but this is... Doggy Kruger and RJ are my two favorite mentors in all Power Rangers. RJ is my favorite. Purple is my favorite color. I'm going to be putting a mess. Dominic. He comes on pretty late, I think, relative. Um, has his relationship with um, Fran, I think is her name. Um, cool dude. Cool dude, but I'm going to put him B. Um, memories are blanking a little bit on him. Spirit Rangers I put in here because I just wanted to technically count them. But they're kind of in the same boat with some of these guys, well, mainly him, in terms of, like, there's nothing behind these masks. These are the spirits of other trainers or other um, masters. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Other Paishwa masters controlling them, which is a great idea. Like, concept I like, and um, I don't even think the execution was bad, but it's just, like, that idea, like, being a ranger in that regard is just going to hinder you on a list like this, but I still like the idea. And then Jim. Jim and Jim are pretty much go hand in hand, so I'm gonna rank them both together. RPM. Um, I'm gonna put a B. I feel like there's there's not much to them outside of their twinness. Um, but do they do have that relationship with Doctor K? I think she has something going on with um, ah, Scottish Ranger, whose name is. Oh my god, I cannot remember the Blue Ranger's name. Flynn, I think. Flynn. I think she has a little something with him at some point, but really it's just these two outside of each other, there's not much there. But they do have a really good relationship with Dr. K that keeps them out of C. A Samurai Ranger. I've heard he's the best part. I'll watch Samurai eventually, but ugh, guys, I fucking hate Samurai. It'll be a chore once I finally get to him. Doing a rewatch of all of Power Rangers right now. I might check and see if you can... Because it's on YouTube, so I wonder if I would get in trouble for streaming episodes. Because I might do streams where we just watch Power Rangers together. I just... I'm a couple episodes past Green with Evil. I don't know. I'll look into it. Might start doing it. Uh, Robo Knight. Probably going to go F as well. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Megaforce sucked. I feel like people aren't going to give me pushback on putting him here. Megaforce sucked. Robo Knight was whatever. Um, Robot Rangers can work. We'll see that later. Um, Sorry. I, I, the audio levels. I got scared for a second. But then Orion. I mean, I guess he's better than Robo Knight, so I'll put him D. Um, Super Megaforce. Was it worse than Megaforce? I mean, you get some fan service imagery, visuals, in Super Mega Force, so maybe not. Then we move on to Sir Ivan, who I do like. So I might, I think I'm going to, I think the likes I'm just going to put in B. I like Sir Ivan. Interesting um, gimmick, being from the medieval times. Fits in with Coda <laughs> from being from the Neanderthal times, caveman times, both out of time men. Uh, fun gimmick. I guess it's a little overused because there's two rangers of it within the same season, but they are from different times, so it plays differently. But, you know, heart of a hero, Sir Ivan B. Prince Philip. God, guys, I don't remember Prince Philip, like, much at all. 
I remember Albert Smith more. Um, I'll put him D. Albert, I'm going to put you C. Permanent basis, you wore purple, you wore my favorite color. Kendall Morgan, she deserved to be higher than these guys. She grew on me. I didn't like her at first. I was like... I was like, stop stop being mean to Shelby, all right? But she grew on me over time. I'm going to put her B. James Navarro probably should go in the same boat as as Prince Philip here. Xeno Wing. I mean, honestly, I'm going to give him points for just being unique, being an alien, one of two that we have here. Three, I guess Magna's not a human. Four? Although... I think what they're doing in the comments isn't necessarily canon, so this could still be whoever. Um, but at 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 worst, f- you know, fourth alien that we see. Um, oh, I'm not gonna count you. You're too humanoid. Uh, but then we have Heckle, who was in like two episodes as a ranger. Um, not even in the season he was introduced. The idea is cool. It is built in another season but you know i'm doing this as a whole so that shouldn't hurt it i like i you know what i kind of like the spy angle they gave him to work with i'm gonna put him c levi ninja steel was bad but in a fun way i stand by that i had fun watching ninja steel because it was bad levi i'm not a country music fan gosh should i put him c does he belong next to? See, cat, cat, cat. This is just as, as a you know, her only being a ranger like one time is what's pulling her down. So that feels off. Is him next to O'Donnell feel right? Merrick is probably what feels the most right. So that's yeah, I'll put him in C. Nate, the most attention in Beast Morphers, which I do think maybe hurt the season a little bit. Would have liked some of that focus spread around, but it does help him in this list tremendously, being bumped all the way to eight. Tech genius for the team. A. Steel. I thought I wasn't going to like Steel. But then I ended up really liking Steel. I'm going to put him A. Um, they showed rain, you know, a ranger who's not a human. who was a robot wanting to be a human working pretty well. I don't even think he wanted to be a human, but the robot angle. Ion. I'm fucking with Ion. I'm going to put Ion at A. I think they could have done a little bit more, and he could have really been bumped up to S if maybe some of the the budding like budding heads with um, Zato was dragged on a little bit more. The friendship played up a little bit more once resolved. Um, his moments in Once and All, or not Once and Always, in um, Cosmic Fury did work pretty well. Um, but I'm gonna put him A just because I, I just I could see some a bit of a wasted potential with the story of him being the one warning against the um, Sporex beast, and then Fern went from sport rival to concerned girlfriend of Izzy to Power Ranger. Cool connection with Solon. She's pretty much the Solon Ranger, but it's just like. They didn't do too much with her. Is she quite D? Yeah, is she quite D? Is she quite D? <sighs> Guys, is she quite is is she quite D? I do like her, so it's kind of tough to put her in D. But I, I think I liked some of these guys. I know I said this is the like tier, but I mean, like, I, I, I'm talking about, I like her as a character. Very limited ranger appearances is what's dragging her down. Is it dragging her all the way down to D? I'm going to say no. I'll put her C. I'll put her C. Kind of helps the alignment of the, uh, the tier list work out a little bit more. So six rangers started pretty hot. They went on a great, I, I mean, these are the same guy, but I'm going to call it three ranger run here. Some really good hits along the way. This is a pretty consistent time period here. Some dip downs, some drops. But overall, six Rangers and extra Rangers work pretty well. The biggest hindrance to some of these guys on the list is just number of episodes as a Ranger, which is to be expected here. But this is just my personal opinion. I think in all of these I've ranked. I think I've. I think in all of them I have ranked my top tier. 
Does Tommy deserve to be the number one? Yes, he probably does. Who should go next? I think I think White Ranger Tommy's my least favorite here. Um, wow, what a stacked list right here. Obviously, these are all my favorites. Cam, I think what you do for the team is why I put you so highly, but in terms of personally connecting with, might be a little lower, kind of dumb. Trent's storyline goes hard. Jason purely is gold. I'll drop. Purely is gold. So we're going to go... Is, do I have Trent over Eric? No. I think this is it. I think this is the order for me here. So that's how I would arrange my favorite seven six last extra rangers. But let me know what you guys think. Um, tell me what you agreed with most and what you disagreed with most. Comment anything you feel like this video subscribe for more to come got a lot more coming on this channel to keep an eye out for but that's the end of this episode thank you so much for watching and as always keep gaming